All right, guys, so I thought I'd give you guys a little update on the Lexus since uh, I'm about halfway through this timing belt job, give or take. Not quite, but um, give a little update on it, how it's going. Um, so we got stuff everywhere. We got the tensioner, we got the timing covers, fan bracket, all that. And this alternator is really nasty because, of course, the power steering uh, pump is leaking on this car like every LS400 ever. So I'm gonna have to do that. I ordered the re or I bought the reseal kit from AutoZone, and I'm actually not gonna use it because this is uh there's no no like equipment in this garage where I'm at right now. Usually uh, back where I used to live, I had like a vice and stuff, and I don't have that. So it'll have to get done some point soon. And instead of buying the like $200 reman pump from AutoZone and risking it breaking. Um, in a few months or literally never working at all. I figured I would just do it right and reseal my OEM one eventually. So we're going to run the risk of blowing the alternator because I don't want to deal with it right now and I don't have the tools. So anyway, um, this is definitely the original belt. So I don't know how, how well that shows up on camera. Pretty bad. I mean, I've seen worse, I guess, on these things. Like nobody changes their uh, timing belts on these Toyota V8s for some reason. I don't know why. It's so hard for Toyota owners to do basic maintenance, but that is the case apparently on these. But yeah, you can see my pump is super crusty. I'm not sure 100% where it's leaking from. I'm sure there's a common spot that I just don't know about, but it is really bad. So that's going to have to get done. Um, I'm in the process of doing this. The only reason it's not done yet is because I'm going to buy a new crank seal because it may be leaking. I know it's gonna be hard to see, I'm sorry. I don't have a flashlight or something. Um, actually, here, let me, let me do something. All right, so there's a little bit of, uh, so there we go. See, there's a little bit of like residue on there and that, that down there um, in here. So I'm like, maybe the crank seal's leaking, maybe it's, uh, uh, just stuff that ran down from when I was taking everything off, but I'm not gonna risk it I mean, that's something you should do anyway every time you do a timing belt I just didn't get it with the ASIN kit that I bought so we're gonna go to Toyota tomorrow and just buy that Seal if they have it in stock. I'm sure they do because I bet it you it's the same as every other UZ engine So the 4.7 and this engine and the 3 UZ Probably all share the same seals. I mean this timing kit and water pump is exactly the same for all the UZ family engines so I would be surprised if the crank seal is different, but yeah, I mean like this thing is totally roached out. I mean, I haven't personally seen a belt this bad other than like at junkyards, but wow. I mean, this car has 137,000 miles on it and it's 25 years old at the time of this video. So yeah, I mean, it's not surprising that it's this bad. The inside actually doesn't look as bad as I, as the outside, which is kind of surprising. I'm sure it, it will show hella cracks whenever you like really flex it, but I wish this thing would autofocus. It doesn't want to autofocus. There we go. So, um, yeah, it's been a experience for sure. I think I'm probably about five hours into this job, four hours, just because I've never done a Toyota V8 before actually timing belt wise. So, and there's like all that stuff you have to take out and there's bolts like the fan bracket bolts that go through the AC compressor annoyingly, of course, and stuff like that. So, but I'm pretty sure I'm set up to do this. We've got the, uh, yeah, it just won't focus tonight. We've got the notch lined up here. We've got this one here and we've got the hole lined up there. Why does this not focus? I apologize. There we go, the dot and the little hole. So I'm pretty sure this is in time with the diagram that they give you on the kit, but that's probably gonna have to wait until tomorrow because I'm just not gonna take all this stuff apart until I have the front main seal there. Although honestly, I may tonight get started on the water pump and all that stuff because honestly, it's kind of easy to do so far. So yeah, um, I ended up buying this chain wrench to get the crank pulley off. And it's just like literally 
one or two links too short. I got this at Ace Hardware, by the way. It's like the 15 inch one or whatever. Um, it doesn't it doesn't quite fit around this harmonic balancer here. And interestingly enough, I did use the like redneck method of getting the crank pulley off or the um, the bolt where you just put a breaker bar on it and to the frame and then you hit the starter and it'll do it. And it actually worked really well. I've never done that before either. So first time for everything. Um, and this actually, usually people struggle with these. And my friend with, a, he's got a Land Cruiser with the 4.7 spent like the better part of a day trying to get it off with various different things like screwing into these holes and then he had to re-drill and tap out because they ruined the threads and I don't know I just hit it with a hammer a few times and then wiggled it and it came right off so maybe I'm just getting lucky because this is a California car and his is like a Canada truck so yeah you know mileage may vary there but we've got our new ASIN kit the water pump, the steel gasket, and all that stuff. I really want this to stop focusing. Whatever. Um, got a new fan bracket. Mine's not bad, but this is one of those things that they say you just replace when you do this job because obviously it is the front piece, the front center section of this cover here. So it's not gonna be fun to replace if that bearing ever fails. I mean, this one actually is actually in pretty good shape. It's kind of one of those things you can do like every other timing belt, but I just figured I would do it now and save the headache. And you can see all the belt material has been sort of flaking off into these covers because obviously they did not change the belt on time. But man, that is, that is really bad. That is really bad, guys. Don't be like the last guy. I mean, I've put five miles on this car since I bought it. And I knew the time belt was going to need to be done. I didn't want to risk it. So it's actually been sitting in the garage for a few weeks. But, jeez. Um, I may end up buying a new tensioner for this. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it spins really good. But you can hear it's like one of the balls in there. The bearings are just starting to, just starting to fail. Um, I wish I got some valve cover gaskets because these need to be done. Not super urgently, but definitely in the near future. So obviously that's going to get done. And the other thing I noticed, look at this. There's like sawdust or something in here. Like some animal or, or insect was like Loki making some type of home in here, which is kind of weird. But it was sitting for a while, so I'm not really surprised about that. But obviously... This kit is pretty high quality. I got this on Amazon, by the way, if you guys are wondering. Um, the ASIN kit here. It is the, I think, TKT021. Yeah. TKT021. Comes with all of that stuff in it. And all of it is ASIN stuff. And this kit was $200 on Amazon. 200 bucks gets you Mitsuboshi belt, NTN tensioner, um, Koyo bearings, or this brand here. Um, which is all high quality stuff, obviously. New water pump, which is ASIN brand. So, and then I paid a hundred bucks for the fan bracket as well on Amazon. And this is, of course, an ASIN bracket. It doesn't say ASIN on it, but it's got a uh, NTN or Koyo bearing in it. It's got a Koyo bearing in it. So I'm sure it's it's got to be high quality. I mean, come on. They don't really like to cheap out on that stuff. And then obviously a new water pump gasket comes with the kit. I'm pretty sure this is the OEM one with the steel gasket with the little like the rubber thing in the inside and then O-rings. I'm not sure what the little one is for. I'm sure I'll discover that like as I kind of go through this job. Uh, the big one I'm pretty sure is for the thermostat housing on the uh, that little neck right there. That was actually really, really in there. It was really tight. So... Um, yeah, not fun, I guess. I'm sure the little O-ring is probably part of the water pump somewhere in there, or it's something I missed, but I'll find it. And uh, I didn't get a new thermostat for this, actually, which is probably not the right call, but um, I didn't get one, so we're not going to replace that. Um, the good news is, actually, it's it's really easy to replace on this car. So, so I just left it in the thermostat housing, so I didn't want to mess up this O-ring here, which actually... Now that I say it, it's definitely, it may leak, and I can't really get mad if it does, but this is that O-ring I was talking about. So that may be annoying, 
and fight me on the way back in. It was stupid because the design on this car is actually not my favorite for a Toyota. I was like, really? They kind of made a dumb call. Like you had to unbolt the throttle body here to get that out. And I didn't take it all the way off, but I unbolted it and I was able to like angle it up a little bit. Not a good, not a good design. You'd think they'd be able to like add just like a little bit of clearance for that, but I guess not. Um, and then I'll get to that power steering pump at some point this summer and hopefully not also an alternator. Although at this point, it may, it may be already well on its way out. I'm either going to brake cleaner it out or get some electrical cleaner. I'm not really sure if you can brake clean those or not. Yeah, I just figured I'd show it and show what it looks like when you have a, a timing belt that has, you know, 50,000 miles in 10 years, 15 years over the service interval that's recommended by the manufacturer. So I guess um, props to Toyota for making a belt that lasts that long, I guess, but still change your timing belt. Don't do this because this is a VVT motor, at least 98 plus, and it will ruin it if you let this just, you know, rot away in there. It'll break and then you'll bend some valves and then you'll get the heads off and it's just like a whole thing. So just don't do that. Change your time belt. That's it for me guys and I'll see you in the next one.